Hello and welcome to the studio. Yes, I got all my winter gear on because it's cold. It's winter in Wales at the moment and it's a particularly harsh winter for me for one reason. My social media was hacked and my credit card completely ravaged four weeks before Christmas. Which isn't the best start to my favourite time of year. But that's completely irrelevant for this YouTube channel. I almost want to start a new YouTube channel where I can just rant about things. Uh, to give my hot takes and stuff. We call it Scott Takes. But then I feel like a thief. But anyway, let's get into tracking your practice. I've taught a lot of people guitar over the years. I've taught professionally since the year 2009, which is a long time. And there's one thing that I've... Sorry, I carry a bag. And there's one thing that I've learned, is that no one follows the same path. People retain information differently. People absorb information differently. People have different goals, different reasons why they want to play. And all of those require different systems to work for them and to get them to different goals. So everyone's practice routine is going to be different. Now the tips that I'm going to give you in this video is going to help you manage your time and practice routine a little bit more efficiently. There's also a link in the description which will take you to a separate page where you can download your free practice tracker and guide on how you can use it today. But for now, let's head over to the Board of Knowledge and we look at what this overall system is to help you get an idea of what, what your perfect system is going to be. Smooth. Now, this is something that regularly comes up on our weekly live streams with the buddies online on my platform. If you wanna know more about my platform, you can find the link below. But it's also a very important part of one-to-one -one learning. If you have guitar lessons with a teacher on a one-to-one -one basis, there should be a sense of you getting closer towards your goal. A guitar teacher's job is to give you the right system that gets you to that place. And when I say system, I don't just mean the routine. There's, so, there's a lot more that goes into your system, like time management. Do you have a family and you can't quite fit in the right amount of time? Do you have a full-time job? Are you tired all the time? Is there something else in the way of playing? Is your guitar kind of stuffed under the stairs when you get in? Are you banished to the shed because you make too much noise when you practice? All of these things will affect your system. So the first important part of that system is the reason why you were practicing. Why are you practicing? What's your ultimate goal? Now that ultimate goal, I just noticed how stupid I look with these gloves on. <laughs> now that represents your success. <laughs> on the guitar. When are you happy? Are you happy when you've written your first song? Are you happy when you've played uh, G to D, that very commonly difficult chord change? Are you happy when you can achieve a clean bar chord sound? Or that slash solo, or Iron Maiden solo? Or the Master of Poopits riff, with all downstrokes by the way? Because it's gotta be downstrokes. <laughs> now it's my job, or your guitar teacher's job, or the course that you're learning from, it's our job to break that down into smaller, achievable chunks, smaller goals. Now, they should be achievable milestones that you can measure yourself, which lead to your ultimate goal eventually. And then we look at the first step, the smallest first goal that you need to set yourself to progress forward. Now, most people, when you learn guitar, you never think about this. You get an idea that you might want to try it, you might want a hobby, and some people don't even have an ultimate goal, they just play. <laughs> and that's when you end up aimlessly sniffing around YouTube videos, that's the way you probably found this one, where there is no structure, you're not building on anything that you know, you're not feeling like you're moving forward, it's like you're going around in circles, people tell you this is really important, this guy tells you that that's not important, don't listen to him, listen to this, this is important. <laughs> and the truth is, that's important to those people and they are progress. Every guitar teacher that you find online is gonna say something different because every guitar teacher online or anywhere else has been on a different path to get them where they are. That's why it's so important to find a guitar teacher that you can connect with. Someone you can absorb information from and someone who knows how to get this 
from your lifestyle. Now, with all that being said, you don't have to be aware of all this. There'll be people watching this thinking, I never thought of all this. I didn't, I didn't have a goal and, and I'm amazing. I play in a band and everything and I'm really good. And, and yeah, not everyone is aware of these principles when they learn guitar. It just helps me a lot. It's the way that I deal with all of my students and help them progress or help them feel like they're progressing. Sometimes you don't feel like you're moving forward, but you are. <laughs> just because you're not right at the end yet, you're getting there. And the most important part of getting there is the bit in between these steps. This and this, those are the parts of the system. That's the system that we need to put in place. The unique uh, tools that you need to get, to get you through those stages. Now I just mentioned that lifestyle is an important part of building the system, and it is. That's what makes your system unique to you. You may only be able to play at certain times throughout the day. Maybe that you've got a new baby in the house and you're going to wake it up if you're just smashing through chords at 11 o'clock at night. Maybe you run a business or more than one business and you're just really, really busy and you need to be ultra efficient with your time. Now what helps with that is tracking your progress. <laughs> I put a Y instead of an E. <laughs> It's not that funny, I know, but I think that's the first sign of my descent into madness. Now, not everybody is comfortable tracking their progress. Some people just like to pick up the guitar here and there and just play whatever they want, which is fine, and you will see some progress with that, but at some point you'll feel like... stuck. <laughs> and it's nice to have some, like a pat on the back, some positive reinforcement that you are moving forward, that you, you are playing uh, something that you struggled with last week a little bit more comfortably this week or you can play a certain exercise faster than yesterday. But the only way to track that kind of progress is with a metronome. You measure the speed that you can play comfortably or cleanly, or whatever it is, whether it's strumming in time, changing chords, playing through a particular song, or finger exercises, developing specific techniques. But for those of you that do struggle with time, maybe actually picking up the guitar is a win for you. <laughs> then you don't have to track specific time. Sometimes a progression would be just picking it up for five minutes. You just track that. Tomorrow, can you do six minutes? Can you do seven minutes the next day? Can you do two blocks of five minutes throughout the whole day? And you build like that. You, you progress forward like that. For some people, it's a massive win if you just put a little tick in the box that you've warmed up today. You've done the spider exercise once. You've gone through your difficult core change once. Tomorrow, you can put two ticks in each box so that you've, you know that you've done it twice. Eventually, you progress to the point where you've got a lot more detailed progress markers. You know, then you can measure the tempo that you can play certain things. But to start with, like I said, it's a big win just to pick up your guitar for a lot of people. Now, for most normal people learning guitar, what is, what is normal these days? <laughs> these principles are not something that you regularly think about. Guitar teachers should think about them, but I know some guitar teachers that don't. <laughs> but if you understand your goals, you can put the right system in place using the free practice tracker that I'm giving you in the link below. And that is part of a beginner's bundle that I've put together. I've worked over a year on this bundle of material that has previously been exclusively for my online buddies. It's come from the feedback that I get from the people that regularly move through my courses. And this time I'm working on the beginner course. The bundle includes 20 weeks of course material, one-to-one -one sessions with me to give you some accountability and to help put these systems in place. It's a very personal thing and no two people have the same routine. And I've also included some of the best time and practice management and goal setting tools. So if you want me to go through this process with you and give you your perfect system that will get you to your goals, click the link below. I really, really wanna help you develop your skills. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs>